This week we've been looking at young chief executives who are driving change in their industries. Today we're taking a look at an Asian female entrepreneur who's making it her mission to encourage more young women to become scientists. Can you name an Asian scientist? How about a female scientist who isn't Marie Curie? How about a female scientist from Asia? My name is Juliana Chan, and I'm the CEO of Asia's largest science magazine. The reason why I left academia to focus on a new career as a science entrepreneur is because I really think that my calling in life is to help boost and support science coming out of Asia. I think it's fair to say that we're living in the Asian century. We are observing funding in the East eclipse that of the West. China now publishes more patents and more papers per year compared to the US, which is a great barometer for where the epicenter is. So I am riding that wave of change. I guess the first sacrifice I had to make was to leave academia entirely. So I put all of that behind. That was very difficult. I had to close my lab, uh, reassign my students and, and let my staff go. I'm quite interested in trying to reduce the number of manals, which is male panels that we see in Asia. I've recently seen a, quite a disastrous one where there were seven men on the panel. I, I, I thought to myself, couldn't they just add just one female on it? I did a very fun project recently, which is to make a book series of Asian scientists, six of them. And one of them was Tu Yo Yo. She's a Nobel laureate, the first female Nobel laureate from China. I wanted to share stories of Asian scientists whom young children in Asia can identify with. Good luck. Juliana Chan there, doing a great job.